Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. Today is just like a news checkout video of uh, another upcoming device. So it's gearing up that 2023 and end of 22 are becoming to be extremely interesting and actually dynamic as far as the world of the ink tablets goes. So first of all, we have already Tab Ultra from Books, which is a very, very interesting device. We also have Amazon Scribe that is shipping now. And in the beginning of the uh, 2023, we're supposed to, hopefully, we will be seeing the Big Me Galley, which is using the Gallery 3, if they remain on timeline that they promised. But today we are talking about another big brand entering the e-ink world. And that is, of course, the Lenovo Yoga Paper. Currently, we don't have any, almost any, concrete information regarding the Lenovo Yoga Paper. We don't have a release date. We don't have what OS it's running, what specifications are there. We don't even know when it's coming to which market or the price list. However, Lenovo has released first official um, teasers, shall we say, about the Lenovo Yoga Paper. And I wanted to actually cover those because I am a fan of Lenovo. So my Lenovo laptop, I love it. My Lenovo regular Android tablet, also love it. So this is something that I'm definitely interested in. Now, Lenovo released like six promo images that just went out and very, very limited information, but there's some stuff that we can actually get from the info that's shared and shown on the images themselves. So the first thing is that this is going to be a very, very slim and nicely built tablet, which makes sense but the slim part is interesting because it's going to be at 5.5 millimeters with a front light and that's 0.2 of a millimeter thinner than the note air 1 2 and 2 plus and that will officially make it the thinnest front lit e-ink tablet device uh, in the world, which is actually quite a nice thing to see because as we know, Remarkable 2 at 4.7 millimeters is the thinnest tablet currently, but it doesn't have a front light. So I think that this is an indication that the Lenovo Yoga is going to be using the latest 1200 or 1250 panels from e-ink, which also have the uh, better image clarity. They are thinner because of the built-in uh, front light, and therefore they are able to get those 0.2 of a millimeter uh, thinness when compared to the Note Air 1, 2, and 2 Plus. From the images, it looks like a standard kind of a, a build. It has a width on one side with an indentation actually, and a magnet holding the pen. Another thing that we can also see from the images is that it's uh, fairly obvious that the device is going to be equipped with a gyro because they're showing both left and right-handed orientation of the device. True, only portrait is being shown here, no landscape, but at least we know that there's going to be a gyro and that you will have the flexibility of using it with the left or the right hand, which is also a good point to see. The pen itself is passive, which is a very, very good thing to see. It looks like a standard EMR, Wacom EMR pen, which would be an excellent thing to see because that means that you will be free should you not like the pen for some reason, you will have options to uh, hopefully, potentially exchange nibs, but also use other pens on the uh, Lenovo Yoga paper. We can also see that it's going to have a dual uh, color front light, which is an excellent thing to see. Um, I used to consider, well, that's a must, but then there were actually a couple of devices that disappointed me. First one that comes to mind is Kobo Ellipsa, which was kind of mind blowing for me that you release your first note-taking capable tablet ever and you don't include a dual color front light and just a blue one. That was just strange. So it's a very nice thing to see that uh, Lenovo Yoga Paper is going to have both warm and cold light and they're going to be mixable, controllable and all at that very nice thinness of 5.5 millimeters. Now there's another image here that actually shows the note taking or the sketching thing and what I definitely find interesting is that they are showing the sketching capabilities of the device as well. And what they show there is quite nice, quite interesting. It's a graphite pen and up until now the only one that actually is able to have a proper graphite and drawing uh, art experience is the Remarkable 2. Other devices they have different pens but for drawing, especially the 
the pencil, there's very, very, well, there's no other that can actually measure up. However, the results that I see here, then again, you know, take it with a grain of salt. This is marketing material. So marketing departments very frequently lie in their uh, and misrepresent in their marketing material. So that might be what's happening here. But the indication here that's positive one is that they are uh, promoting the yoga paper as something that you can draw on as well. And sure enough, if we check out that image, that <laughs> there's a couple of things that we can see. The first one is that the user interface is uh, remarkably close to the remarkable. The resemblance is uncanny all the way with the little circled X in the opposite corner of the uh, <laughs> the toolbar to close it. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it, it's quite something. And we can actually see nine different brushes there. And from that, I can see that we have a brush, we have a pencil, we have a fine liner, I guess a ballpoint pen, a marker, and another ink kind of a pen. So we'll see what it is, but it's definitely uh, not going to be sparse. That's something that's a very nice thing to see. We can also see from the images that you will be able to do a full screen zoom, which is nice to hide the toolbar. We have the brush options, eraser options, marquee selection, undo, redo. The lines there are probably the menu because that's a universal icon for menu and more. So that would make sense that it's there. And then in the bottom line, we have like uh, some tools. And the first one is quite interesting. It's the microphone. And that normally means that you will have a recorder option, sort of like MatePad paper has and the uh, books devices have so that you are able in some way to record and insert audio recordings to be a part of your notebook. We also have some page functionalities here, layer functionality and share directly from the notebook. So that one actually looks quite, quite interesting and quite promising from the promo materials as well. We can also see the build quality here, which is something that I'm interested in. And it's uh, all metal design, probably an all metal bucket design with the front. And it's going to be a glass front for sure. And maybe that side is going to be metal as well. We'll see. But definitely the magnet is going to be holding the pen in that indentation, which actually looks quite nice. And that looks like a little microphone there. Uh, in the bottom. As far as image quality and stuff, uh, there's no point in talking about that because these are all promo images. But if it is using the Carta 1250 or 1200 uh, panels, that means that it's going to have that enhanced uh, contrast, br brightness and clarity, which is a very nice thing to see. And also, at least from the promo images, we don't see any dithering, <laughs> but that's uh, purely a speculative thing. Is it going to have image dithering or not? We will We'll have to definitely wait and see. The menu itself looks okay, like a normal thing, but what I don't see on any of the screenshots is any mention of Android 11 or a Google Play Store or anything like that. So we don't know what Lenovo is going to be doing. Is, uh, is it going to be an Android 11 with full Google Play uh, uh, experience? Because Lenovo is not uh, limited like Huawei is. So you wouldn't have that compatibility issue that you have on the MatePad paper. But here, I don't see any mention of that or any showing of that in any way. What's also interesting to see is that there's like a magnetic cover, uh, obviously. So you put the device into the cover. Hopefully it's all magnetic. But what's quite interesting as far as the design goes is that where the pen goes as an indentation, you can see like a little bulge and a place to accommodate the pen when your uh, front lid is closed. And hopefully that front lid is also held by magnets. And if that's the case, that's a very, very easy and elegant solution to kind of keep uh, and make sure that your pen doesn't fall off when you're transporting the device because the pouch is included in the cover which might actually work well. What remains to be seen is um, how does it flip over in the back? Will that indentation be a problem when you flip the cover back or will you have to remove the device from the uh, cover in order to have it lay flat on the ground? So that's what we know about the yoga paper so far. 
as I said, not much, but there's some stuff and there's plenty of indications here to give a hint that this might be a very interesting device and something that can be exciting. Now, we don't know when it's coming out, so it will depend on when it comes out, what's the state of the competition, how is Amazon Scribe performing, are the color tablets with Gallery 3 pay, uh, uh, panels out or not, how's the Tab Ultra doing, what's Remarkable doing with their update 3.0 when it actually rolls out and where the price line falls. So we'll have to see like, first of all, where in a very wide product range of e-ink tablets, especially e-note taking capable tablets, will yoga paper actually fall into? Is it going to be mid-range, high-end, low-end? It will really depend who its main competitors will be. And the second part is, of course, the functionalities and how it works. So far, what I see is definitely interesting enough to keep me checking the info back on the yoga paper, how it actually develops. I hope that you found the video interesting or maybe even a bit informative. If you did, please like and subscribe and ding the notification button in the description below to get notified when new videos come out on my deep guide. Also, let me know in the comments down below what do you think about the yoga paper? Is that something that uh, might be exciting for you? Do you maybe have some additional info that you've read somewhere in the coverage of this, but not just rumors, but something that was actually like a, a proper uh, uh, information. So yeah, I'm, I'm just interested. What do you think? How does the device look like to you? Uh, what do you think its price range might be? I think that they're going to be trying at the mm, sub $400 maybe if they manage. Uh, but I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be around $399 or $429. So we'll see. What's your guess for the price range of the Lenovo Yoga Paper or do you care <laughs> at all? And before the final sign off, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Check out the mydeepguide.com slash shop for MDO 2023. What is MDO? My Daily Organizer, which helps you organize your yearly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily needs in a professional or personal uh, life. And it works perfectly with these e-note taking devices and is specially tailored for use with e-note devices. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see you in the next video. Bye.